Hi, hey, how you guys doing, man? It's Joe D, and welcome to another beer review, man. Um, to, uh, today, I'll be reviewing a beer that was sent to me uh, from Jeremiah at um, Hot Butcher for the World. Interesting name for a brewery, but I dig it, man. Anything that's kind of fresh and different, kind of dig it. Uh, from research, I love the, the artwork on this can too. Check that out, man. You gotta love the artwork on this can. This beer now, if I screw it up, man, bear with me. All right. Work with me here. Herbs in Horto. <laughs> uh, Horto. I, I, I really don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, Horto or I don't know how to say it. Okay. But in any case, I know there's a lot of different ways that can go. <laughs> uh, they're out of Chicago, Illinois area. So, and from researching the beer, which is, you know, things I do with most reviews when I do them. I haven't done a review in a while. But, and I'll share the screen with you. This is one reason I use this format instead of, I like the share screen uh, that I can do. It makes it super simple. And I kind of record this all in one shot here. So, um in the chicago it's like a here's a little history on herbs and horto it's actually a, a a thing in chicago the five acre what is this lori garden in millennium park pays homage to chicago's motto herbs and horto uh city in a garden is what they call it um so that it, 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 more than 30 varieties of uh, perennials bloom each spring. So if you're, you know, it's paying, I guess the name of the beer is either paying homage to, to this garden, or I also saw that there was a, uh, a song that is also titled that uh, from a Twin Peaks or something. So uh, from researching that, that's what I got. Here is um, right from Hop uh, Butcher's website, which is hopbutcher.com. Uh, you can see the artwork, which I really dig. So now you get a chance to see it really well. Uh, see the name. The style is a, a, a double uh, IPA, 7.5% ABV. It uses Strata and Mosaic Hops. Last canned October 30th, 2018. So we are reviewing this Saturday, November 17th. So this is an extremely fresh can. Um, formats are draft or 16 ounce cans. Uh, label art workers by uh, Dan. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say his <laughs> last name. Um, but tropical our flavors are tropical berry and lemonade. That is interesting. That's got to have your interest. I'm going to cover these hops first, and then I'll go to the untapped and, and move on from there. So we, we talked about, you know, where the name may come from. I don't know for sure because they didn't send information with the beer. They just sent the beer, which is fine with me. Um, so if you're not familiar with Mosaic Hops, then a brief, very generic description of, of, of the flavors, at least, that you'll get in a Mosaic Hop, according to Google right here. Rich in mango, lemon, citrus, earthy pine. I typically associate mosaic with pine, uh, you know, typically, or maybe it says tropical fruit, but I, earthy pine and an herbal or, you know, or uh, that sort of, you can, can get a fruity note out of it, depending on how they, what they're trying to do when they're brewing it. But typically I associate mosaic with like earthy pine or some sort of herbal note. <laughs> Uh, Mosaic combines a very complex hop aroma with uh, fairly high alpha acids. Uh, so that'll give you an idea of Mosaic hop. Here is the Strata hop, which was actually, this is a, a, a an article that was published November 14th. We're doing this review November 17th, 2018. So this is a, a fresh <laughs> uh, um, article as well. So when you scroll down here, and that's a look at, the uh, the brand what they title the brand new darling of craft brewers. That's a look at this hop. Uh, you go down here to the aroma and sensory description. 
Uh, strata is described as a passion fruit meat pot. It brings layered notes of tropical fruit, including mango, passion fruit, melon, fresh berry or slash strawberry, and some citrus in the form of grapefruit. Along with this comes a dank, he said dank, dank is in the article here, herbal note of uh, drifting cannabis. So I'm getting that we could get some cannabis notes. So this kind of has a little bit of that uh, of its cousin, uh, which is, you know, the cannabis plant. The herb is, uh, 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 the hop is is a cousin of weed, <laughs> for those that don't know that. Um, here is the untapped for Hop the Butcher out of Chicago, Illinois, just as a the general login on untapped for Hop the Butcher and their general rating is a 4.11. They have 59 beers on Untapped. They were first added in two, uh, February 6, 2012. So just to give you an idea or some sort of uh, how, how good this brewery really is. So when I started looking up their beers, I was going to just go by the most popular. And of, of the eight, that uh, well, they sent six different beers. Uh, they sent eight beers, but s wait, no. Ba -ba -ba, let me see. Two, four. Six, seven, five. They sent five different beers, um, but they sent eight beers altogether. So I was going to start with the most popular of the five. And then when I started looking up the beers, this is, a, if you're familiar with Share Beer, this is a Tom type brewery right here, man. This brewery does a lot of four bottle cap beers on Untapped, man. So I was like, I'll just pick one and do it. So. Here is the untapped for the herbs and horto, okay? Uh, as we, uh, okay, I'll just go over the whole untapped like I normally do. 1,517 ratings total, 1,517 in the last 30 days. This, this beer was newly added. So it was added 9-30-2018, okay? 7.5% ABV, no IBUs rated at this time, and a 4.33 bottle cap rating. It's classified on here as a, as an Imperial or a double New England IPA. Strata and Mosaic Hop Double in Indian uh, Pale Ale, right? Get some pictures, a look at it before we crack it open ourselves here in the review. I know this one's kind of long. I'm talking a lot here before we actually start, but I, I want to give you a real good idea of what this beer is. And and while we're here, let's just see if we can. Yeah, there's, you know, there's just a bunch of dudes on here. No hottie alerts on here, man. <laughs> so finally, let's get to cracking on here and see what we really get. See if we get passion fruit. See if it's living up to that 4.3 rating, man, 4.3. I, I could just hear, like, commentators on ESPN just, I mean, they just love that kind of number, right? A 4.3. He, he ran a 4.3. He got, runs a 4.3 in the coal mine. <laughs> That's what they like to do, right? In any case, I have your standard kind of glass. I just wanted to use a basic glass on here. So let's crack it. We'll see. I've got my emergency towel. Always have an emergency towel. You've seen from the last share beer show that I did have a major beer emergency here. We'll crack open the can. Hard to get good neary smoke out of a can. And yeah, I enjoy. Oh, man. Okay. Just from cracking that beer open, you can see it's at least 12 inches away from my face. And you, I've got an immediate fruit type of smell from this brew already but getting that nice cloudiness that you expect from a new england ipa if it says it on the label we want to make sure we get it i got to get a picture here look at that already man let me get the let me do the tapa tapa got to make it pretty for the picture let me get a quick shot here go ahead and get a quick little picture here real fast there we go Say cheese. <laughs> so there we go, man. Look at that beer, man. That is just so beautiful. Look at that cloudy. You get that real nice 
uh, kind of gold in color, real yellowish gold type of type of color. Big, nice, fluffy head on there with big bubbles. I'm not seeing super small bubbles. It looks a lot like a sponge on the side. Oh, just this real nice, kind of a, a sweet uh, citrusy type of fruit note. Um, lots of grapefruit. And uh, just like they described, lemonade. I am getting like a pink lemonade sort of sweet citrusy note out of this. But it does lean a little bit more uh, of a pink grapefruit. I'm going to take it away from lemonade and call it, it, it could be a lemonade slash grapefruit, pink grapefruit sort of smell. Oh, it, I would like to put this in an air freshener, man. It just smells so like floral and fruity and nice. I actually, just dig in, man. Salute. Oh. 16 ounce can so i got a little more here <laughs> thank goodness oh man let me tell you 7.5 percent abv this is kind of a oh look at we got some floaties in there too man i don't know if you can see them but there's a few in there not too many mm. Kind of a medium-bodied, light, medium-bodied beer. Oh, look at that. If, if I had to give you a number, ugh, no charge. If I had to give you a number on IBUs on this, it's not a super hoppy beer. It's not real dry, though, so ugh, no charge. It, it, it sneaks up on you. So you get just the slightest little hot bite, but it's really more of a of sweet citrusy sort of what you what you're what you're smelling is what you're getting on on your uh, on the taste. Ah, and there's different things happening on those different regions of your tongue, right? Like the front part is is getting a real nice little uh citrusy that that like hoppy kind of tanginess that you get sometimes so they, that's hitting like the front part and then like the middle to back parts getting a little bit more sweeter and that like hop bitterness a little bit so there's a little bit of that like uh lemon rind sort of bitterness mm. oh god this is every bit I'll tell you what, two thumbs. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Man, this is a Tom beer if I've ever had one. This is a definite Tom New England IPA right here, man. This is phenomenal, man. So smooth. God, this is, man, I got to give it. I mean, Jeremiah, you guys are doing it right over there, bro. Hmm. God, this if you get a four pack of this, this is a definite. If you got to have one, you got to have all four. But be careful, man. Seven five is going to sneak up on you if you do that, especially with these nice tall boys. These are 16 ounce cans. God, I could seriously drink this all day, man. This is solid. So, so good. You could pair this with anything. Um, it's not just for your serious hop heads. There's a little bite to it, a little, I mean, the slightest little, not a hop bite, more of a bitterness, more of a uh, citrus rind sort of bitterness, more like a grapefruit, you know, the white part, the rind, that part, or the, is, am I calling that right, the rind? Or the, you know, the peel, more of that, or like the lemon peel. But it's not too lemony. It's it's just that kind of bitterness to it, it instead of like a hot bite. I guess I'm calling that wrong. Yeah, let me call it more of a bitterness. But it's just it finishes nice and sweet, and it's very pleasant. Um, it everything that I'm getting on the nose, I'm getting in my palate. Mm. God, that is so good. I, I would definitely if I if 
you're going to see me rate this, and I might rate it even a 4.5. I might give it a 4.5 bottle caps, but I definitely give it two thumbs, man. Thank you, Jeremiah, for sending this out. I wanted to get this posted before we started the Share Beer Show. Um, you guys, check it out. If you can get Hot Butcher for the World, <laughs> it's a lot of words. It's a long title for a brewery, I know. But if you can get this beer, man, I'm looking at similar beers of the jewels. He sent me that as well. Reply hazy. Try again. I was sent that. <clears throat> no charge. You're going to see some of those beers on this channel really soon. So, uh, God, that is, I, I'm going to crush this right now. I'm not kidding, man. I would love to hear your opinions on this brew. If you've had this brew or anything from Hop, Hop Butcher for the World, just let me know, man. I would love to hear it because that, in my opinion, was near perfect. I mean, that was – I can't I can't say enough good about that. That was phenomenal. I, I would tell you guys straight up in it. Wow. <laughs> that was good, man. I love pink grapefruit juice. You know what I'm saying? I love grapefruit juice. Especially when it's not too, too bitter. It's just that nice balance of bitterness and sweetness. And that's what this is. This is uh, very well done, man. Uh, two thumbs for those guys. Let me know what you guys think, man. Peace out.